We are often tossed and driven on the restless sea of time. Sombers, skies, and rolling tempests all succeed the bright sunshine. In that land of perfect day, when the mists have rolled away, we will understand it better by and by. I'm singing by and by when the morning comes, when all the saints of God together at home, we will Savior's face. Amen. And be able to say, Lord, I'm grateful. Yes, 
Lord. that I decided to turn my life over to you. Yes. And because of that, now I can see your face in peace. Amen. amen. So at this time, we're getting ready, amen, to go before the Lord in prayer. Amen. We're asking, amen, continue to pray for the saints of God far and near. Amen. amen. That the Lord will continue to touch their bodies. Amen. amen. Remember the bishops. Amen. Our wives. Just the saints of God everywhere. But most of all, amen, that we will have a mind, amen, to follow the Holy Ghost. Amen. amen and to do that which is right. That's our ticket. That's it. Amen. To go to heaven. Amen. Is to do that which is right. Amen. So this time we're going to ask Deacon Lee if you would lead us to the throne of grace as we ask the Lord's blessing upon this Bible series Amen. in Jesus' name. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come before you tonight. We thank you. We praise you, Lord. We give you all the glory. give you all the honor, Lord. We thank you again for allowing us to be back in your house one more time. We're asking, Lord, that you have your way tonight. We ask that the Holy Ghost glorify thy son Jesus tonight, Lord. Bless our pastor, Lord, as you come forth with your word. Lord, be in the midst tonight, Lord. Take full control of this service, of this video as it goes forth throughout the world, Lord, that it may find some lost soul somewhere seeking you, Lord, that it may guide them unto you before the everlasting time is too late. We're asking, Lord, that you continue to bless our leaders you have set before us, our pastors, our bishops. Lord, continue to watch over them and keep them. Lord, continue to feed them with your wisdom and understanding that they may lead your people on to victory. In these last days, will they continue to bless their wives. Lord, as they take care of their husbands, Lord, strengthen them. Be with them and stand by them. Lord, bless those that are sick and afflicted in their bodies far and near. Lord, you know and understand. We ask you to send forth your healing right now. Touch him and deliver. Have your way, Lord. Continue to bless your people everywhere. Lord, keep us encouraged. Keep us, Lord, with a mind to do that which is right. Keep us with a mind to hold up the bloodstained banner. Lord, continue to bless us and keep us, we pray. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You can leave. Amen. Again, we greet you in the wonderful and precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. As we embark, amen, on the study, amen, on this series that we will be starting today, amen. And the Holy Ghost will let us know when we're done, and you'll figure out when we're finished too. <laughs> Praise the Lord, because once we get to the end, the end means the end. That's it. Praise the Lord. You don't need, you don't say continue. End is end. end, is end. Praise the Lord. So you'll know when we get to the final chapter. Yes, sir. Amen. But as I was going through the other day, it just seems to me that the Lord laid this book on my heart and was on my bus, like I usually do. Thinking about the goodness of the Lord, sometimes just minding my business, and then the Holy Ghost interrupts. All right. Praise the Lord. And I don't mind the Holy Ghost interrupting me. Anytime. He can anytime. interrupt me at any time. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I just want to have a mind That's to right. listen to That's Him. Right. Right. Because if there's one that knows, amen, what the people of God need is the Holy Ghost. That's right, Bishop. Praise the Lord. And as I begin to think about it, He dropped this book on my heart. And I ask the Holy Ghost to be the teacher, because certainly if he's not going to teach, Deacon, Sister Nancy, would shut the camera down, close our Bibles, turn the fans and the light off, and lock the church door, and let's go home. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. So we're here depending upon the Holy Ghost. And we don't know it all. Praise the Lord. But we certainly know that the Holy Ghost knows it all. Amen. And whatever he reveals to us is that which we need to know. That's right. Amen. If he don't give it to us, amen, he knows what's best. But as I begin to go through and I was saying as I was on my bus, the Lord just laid this chapter on my heart. Amen. And it's Peter, First Peter. Mm -hmm. We'll be teaching this series from the book of First Peter. Amen. Beginning at chapter 1, and then we'll end at chapter number 5, if it's the Lord's will. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we ask your prayers. Amen. To some people, Bible study is a boring thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. They want to jump and shout all the time. Yeah. 
but I want to be like Mary. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary had chosen the best part. best part. Martha was busy humoring in the kitchen and preparing the natural food, which is okay. Mm -hmm. But Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Martha came and told Jesus, said, Jesus, tell my sister, amen, to come help me out in the kitchen. Jesus said, Martha, you are busy about things, amen, that does not satisfy your soul, amen. But when I look at your sister, amen, she had chosen the best part. Yes, sir. Uh, and the best part was at the feet of Jesus. Amen. If we stay at the feet of Jesus, he would feed us, amen, amen like a mother bird does to her young ones. Amen. amen. She goes out and get the worm and get the food. Amen. And she just calm and the babes just open up their mouth mm -hmm. and she feed them. Amen. They don't have to worry. So we want to be like the baby ones. Uh, that we'll open up our mouth and allow the Holy Ghost. Amen. To feed us, instruct us. Amen. And to guide us. So amen. we're going to get started. Amen. Some things we will cover. Amen. You have already heard some things before. But it's nothing like hearing the word of God again and again and again. Because you always get something, amen, out from the word of God. Amen. All right. So this, this time we're going to ask you to read. Amen. amen. If you would start reading, amen, from 1 Peter chapter number 1. Peter. Peter. An apostle of Jesus Christ. All right. He said who his name was. Mm-hmm. And he lets you know that he was an apostle yes, sir. of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. All right. To the strangers. To the strangers. Scattered throughout Pontus, mm -hmm. Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bethany. All right. So he's writing, amen, to the strangers. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Scattered. Mm -hmm. Now, he wasn't writing amen to, when he says strangers, he's not talking about unsaved. All right. All right. He's talking about the saved brethren. Yes, sir. Amen. That were scattered abroad over there in Asia. Praise the Lord. In other words, Turkey. Mm -hmm. All right. Remember now, there were churches already established. Praise the Lord. But when you read these epistles, amen, these epistles were written because something came up or something was going on in the church. All right. All right. So they would come together, Paul and Peter, and they would write these epistles and they would send it back to the churches. Mm -hmm. Amen. That they would read it, that all of the saints will know what thus said the Lord. All right. All right. So Peter is writing unto the saints that are scattered. Mm -hmm. Amen. Throughout Pontus, mm -hmm. Galatia, Cappadocia, mm -hmm. Asia, and Bithynia. Praise the Lord. And remember I said now, these churches, if I make no mistake, were located over there in modern day Turkey. All right. Praise the Lord. Because remember, it started in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. All right. But remember, Jesus' commission was going into all the world. All the world. All right. So the gospel must be preached in all the world and every city. Mm -hmm. I believe Paul told Titus, ordain elders mm -hmm. in every city yes, as I have ordained you. So because of the elders being over the churches, different things begin to come up. But now I want to say, and I'll give you my subject, praise the Lord. Peter, primary reason mm -hmm. for writing to the saints scattered abroad, amen, is to send words of comfort to them. All right. All right. Words of hope. Mm -hmm. All right, and words of encouragement amen. to encourage them and to give them hope, yes. amen, in the midst of their persecution. Because at this time, the church were going through great persecution. All right, praise the Lord, great time of distress. Oh. Praise the Lord. So, Peter took out time, mm -hmm. amen, to write words of encouragement to the saints, amen. and that's my aim. Praise the Lord, through the help of the Holy Ghost, amen, to speak word of comfort. Praise the Lord. So my subject today, I remember the late Bishop Bailey taught a Bible series, amen, I believe, from the churches in Revelation. All right. And his subject was the church encouraged by Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, because Jesus was the one that was in the midst of the church, and he was the one giving John the revelation, mm -hmm. amen. But I just want to name this series, The Church. Mm -hmm. Encouraged by Peter. Amen. Praise the Lord. The church, church. encouraged 
by Peter. All of us need encouragement from time to time. Amen. I don't believe there's no believer. Mm. Amen. Sometimes in this walk with the Lord, where you don't need the Lord to encourage us. That's right. Praise the Lord. Sometimes we all, amen, go through many things in life. Praise the Lord. Some people feel like, you know, when I come to the Lord, amen, all my troubles are over. Yeah. All of my heartaches are over, but not so. Praise the Lord. In other words, it has just begun. begun. Praise the Lord. Your tests and your trials, amen, have just begun. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So don't believe that when you come and serve the Lord, amen, every day is going to be sunshine. Mm. Praise the Lord. The Lord will allow the rain to come. Oh, yeah. I believe there's a song that says, Must I be carried through the on flowery beds of ease? Uh, through the air on flowery beds of ease, while others suffer. Uh, and fight and sail to what bloody sea. In other words, Jesus took up his cross. Yes, sir. And you and I, amen, must take up our cross. Amen. Praise the Lord. But the Lord will help us all and remind us of that which is needed. Amen. amen. As Peter began to remind the saints mm -hmm. of what is expected of them, even when it comes to the government. Mm -hmm. All right. Go on, David, verse number two. Elect. Elect. According to the foreknowledge of God. According the Father, to the foreknowledge of God the Father. Through sanctification. Through sanctification. Of the Spirit. Of the Spirit. Unto obedience. Unto obedience. And sprinkling of the blood. And the sprinkling of the blood. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Grace unto you. Grace unto you. And peace. And peace. Be multiplied. Be multiplied. Praise the Lord. Peter went on to say unto the elect. Mm -hmm. According to the foreknowledge of God. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Now I want to say Jesus is the foundation of our election. All right. Praise the Lord. Jesus is the church foundation mm -hmm. according to election. All right. Okay. Now remember now God is the one that held election. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Uh, God is the one that held election even before there was a foundation of the world. That's right. Praise the Lord. Now, we're going to go and we're going to show you through scriptures. Amen. And some things you've heard it before. Amen. But sometimes scriptures connect with other scriptures. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. All right, Deacon Lee, let's go on now to Ephesians chapter number one. Mm -hmm. Verse number three through verse eight. And then we're going to hit St. John 17. Blessed mm -hmm. be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. All right. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings. All right. Blessings. He has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Not some, all. Uh, but all spiritual blessings. Whatever spiritual blessing the church needed, the Lord has given it to the church. All right. Read. Uh, in heavenly places All right. in Christ. All right. It is done in heavenly places uh, in Christ. Yes. Praise the Lord. So the spiritual blessings is done in heavenly places. Yes, sir. All right. Now the church is situated in heavenly places. All right. Even though we are not physically in heaven, praise the Lord, as long as we do that which is right, we will experience heaven on earth. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. We don't have to wait till we get to heaven to enjoy God's blessing. Yes. All right, but it must be done in Jesus Christ. That's it. All right, read. According as he has chosen us. All right, now according that he, God, has chosen us in him. All right, so God has chosen us in him, and the him is Jesus Christ. Before the foundation of the world. All right, so we were chosen in Jesus before foundation of the world. So in other words, did God make elect? You understand? God had an election. Mm -hmm. All right? And we were chosen in Jesus Christ yes. before the foundation of the world. All right. All right? Now all of this was done in the mind of God. Amen. All right? In the plan of God. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. No one knew what was in God's mind until God began to speak. That's right. Amen. But all of this was in the mind or in the plan or in the blueprint of God. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. You've chosen us in Jesus before the foundation of the world. That we should be holy. All right. That we should be holy. And without blame. And without blame. Before him in love. Before him in love. Having predestinated us. All right. Having predestinated 
because unto the adoption of children. All right, unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to Himself. All right, so we have been predestinated. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord, preordained. Yes. Amen. To be chosen in Jesus Christ, that we should be holy. Yes. And before without spring of the day, that we should be holy. Be holy and without blame. And without blame before Him. Before Him. All right, read. Having predestinated us. Having predestinated us. Unto the adoption of children. All right, so unto the adoption of children. By Jesus Christ to himself. All right, so God adopted us. By amen. By Jesus Christ unto himself. That's right. All right, so we are the adopted children of God. Amen. All right, but it was done only through Jesus Christ. That's it. There is no adopted children, amen, that does. Not come through Jesus. That's right. Amen. Every adopted child of God must come through Jesus. Only one way. All right, read. According to the good pleasure of his will. All right, it was according to the good pleasure of God's will. To the praise of the to the praise of the glory mm -hmm. of his grace. Of his grace. Wherein he had made us accepted in the beloved. All right, so now God had made the church. Mm -hmm. All right, accepted in the beloved. Now, the, the beloved is Jesus Christ. All right. For John 3, 6, said, For God so what? Loved the world that he gave his what? Okay. His only begotten son. So everything concerning the church must be done through Jesus Christ. Man. Outside of him, there is no church. That's right. Praise the Lord. Because he said now, I am the way. I am. Uh, the way, what do you mean the way? The way back to God. That's it. Uh, there's only one way back to God, oh, and way. that way is Jesus. Amen. He said, I am the truth. Uh-huh. Uh, in other words, he is the Messiah. Yes. The one that God ordained. The one that God anointed. Amen. The one that God sent. Amen. Israel, amen, Messiah that came, amen, to deliver not just Israel, but the entire world. Yes, sir. All right. In, in whom we have redemption. In whom we have redemption. Through his blood. Through his blood. The forgiveness of sins. All right. Forgiveness of sins. According to the riches of his grace. All right. In whom we have what? Redemption. Through his blood. All right. So the word redemption means to buy back. Mm -hmm. All right. But it was done because of the shedding of the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Now I'm going to go into some things and we're going to really get out there, amen, with this Bible. Praise the Lord. All right. So redemption must be done only through the blood. Yes, sir. And once the blood has been shed, that's the only way our sins can be forgiven. Amen. Because Paul said in the book of Hebrews, without the shedding of blood, amen, there is no remission of sin. The forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Mm -hmm. All right, read verse 8. Wherein, Wherein he has abounded toward us. He has abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence. All right, in all wisdom and in all prudence. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's go on back. Praise the Lord. Right. Now let's go to, I believe I said, let's go to St. John chapter 17. Yes, sir. Verses 15 through 19. John, praise the Lord. We still got to get that out of our taste. Yeah. <laughs> St. John, after a while, we'll get it out. Yeah, get praise it. the Lord. John, chapter number 17. Verse number, verse number 15 through 18. All right. Praise the Lord. Want to deal with sanctification. I pray not. I pray not. That thou shouldest take them out of the world. All right. So Jesus is praying to God and said, I pray that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them, all right, but thou shouldest keep them from the evil, all right, keep them from the evil, they are not of the world, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world, even as I am not of the world, sanctify them, sanctify them through thy truth, all right, so now Jesus is praying that the apostles, mm -hmm. and if it was good for the apostles, it is good for the church. Yes, sir. All right. The only way now you can be sanctified, you must be sanctified by or through.
through the truth. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are not sanctified outside of the truth. No, sir. Amen. You are only considered sanctified. In other words, sanctified is just a means by which the Holy Ghost helps the church to become holy, All right. consecrated, mm -hmm. and separated, amen, for the use of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. And let me say this now. Sanctification is an ongoing process. Amen. Praise the Lord. It is not something that only happened one time, mm -hmm. and yet that's the end of it. Okay. It's an ongoing process mm -hmm. for every believer through the guidance of the Holy Ghost as he allowed us through the Word of God mm -hmm. to consecrate ourselves and separate ourselves from the world that we may be dedicated to the cause of Christ. Alright, read. Sanctify them through thy truth. Alright, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Alright, thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me. As thou hast sent me. Into the world. Into the world. Even so have I. Even so have I. Also sent them. Have I also sent them into the world. Amen. And for their sake. And for their sake. I sanctify myself. All right. Is that verse 19? 19. All right. So for their sake, uh -huh. I sanctify myself. That they also might be sanctified. All right. So Jesus is saying now, for their sake, yes. I sanctify myself. Yes. Uh, that they also might be what? Sanctified through the truth. All right. So they must be sanctified through only the truth. Man. All right. And this is what Peter is saying. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. Through the sanctification. All right. Through sanctification of, of the Spirit. Unto obedience. All right. So we are chosen before the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. All right. And it was done through sanctification Man. of the Spirit. Yeah. All right. Unto obedience and the sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Amen. Now, I want to share something when it comes to sprinkling the blood. All right. There is an application to what Peter is saying. All right. All right. Now, let's go to Exodus chapter number 24. Exodus 24, verses 5 through 8. And then we're going to go to Exodus 29, 19 through 20. All right, Exodus chapter 24. Exodus 24, we want to read verses 5 through 8. 5 through 8, all right. All right, Exodus 24, verses 5 through 8. And he sent young men. All right, this is Moses. And he sent young men. Of the children of Israel. Of the children of Israel. Which offered burnt offerings. Mm -hmm. And sanctified Sacrifice peace offering. Sacrifice peace offering. Of oxen mm -hmm. unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood. All right, now I want you to follow this. Moses took half of the blood. And put it in a basin. All right, there's a reason why. Remember now, the blood had to come out from the animal. All right, they were not allowed to strangle. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. They had to slaughter the animal and drain the blood out. All right, and the blood must be placed where? In basins. In basins, all right. And half of the blood be sprinkled on the altar. All right, so now half of the blood was sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant. All right, and he took the book of the covenant. And read in the audience of the people. All right, he read it to the people. And they said. And they said. All that the Lord had said we will do. All that the Lord said we will do. And be obedient. And be obedient. And Moses took the blood. All right. Moses took the blood. And sprinkled it on the people. All right. So now part of the blood is sprinkled on the altar. Mm -hmm. All right. But the other half of the blood is sprinkled on the people. And said. And said. Behold. Behold. The blood of the covenant. The blood of the covenant. Which the Lord hath made with you. Which the Lord hath made with you. Concerning all these words. All right. So now Moses took that blood and he sprinkled it on the people. Now, what, what is the meaning of that now? They were going into a covenant. Mm -hmm. All right, and for them to enter into the covenant with God, amen, blood needed to be shed. All right. All right, now it's the same thing with a believer before we come into covenant with Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Amen, or with God, blood had to be shed. All right. All right, like we said, now there is no remission of sin That's without right. the shedding of blood. That's right. All right, but the blood was sprinkled on the people. Yes. All right, but now we 
Jesus' blood was not sprinkled on us. No, sir. Praise the Lord. His blood poured out from his body. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, and his blood brings about redemption. Yes. Now, I'm going to show you something also in the book of Exodus chapter number 12. Let's go to Exodus 12 and we'll get back, amen, to chapter 29. All right. I want to show you something now when concerning the blood. All right. Exodus chapter number 12. I believe verse number 15. Seven days. I believe. Let's go. Let's go now to, but let's read verse number. Oh, just give me one minute. Just let's go now. To, let's read verse 10. All right. And ye shall let nothing mm -hmm. of it remain until the morning. All right. And that which remaineth of it. Let's, I'm sorry, Nathan. Let, let's go on back now. Amen. Verse number five. I yes. believe it's yes. verse number five. That's the verse I want. All right. Your lamb mm -hmm. shall be without blemish, mm -hmm. a male of the first year. Ye shall take it out from the sheep All right. and from the goats. And from the goats. And ye shall keep it until the 14th day mm -hmm. of the same month. Of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of, of Israel shall kill it in the evening. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper post, door post of the houses wherein they shall eat it. Mm -hmm. And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, all right. but roast with fire, all right. his head with his legs, and with, and with the puritans thereof. And ye shall let of it remain until the morning. Mm -hmm. And that which remaineth of it until the morning ye shall burn with fire. Yes. And thus shall ye eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hands. And ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. All right. Verse number 12. And then we'll go over the amen to verse number 21. All right. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night mm -hmm. and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. Read verse 13, Deacon. And the blood shall be to you mm -hmm. for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. All right, now listen to what Moses said now in verse 21. And then Moses called all the elders of Israel and said unto them, Draw out and take you a lamb according to your families and kill the Passover. All right. And ye shall take a bunch of hyssop. Take a bunch of hyssop. And dip it in the blood. Dip it in the blood. That is in the basin. All right. So again, you see now the blood had to be poured out in the basin. And they were supposed to take a plant, which is called hyssop. Uh, all right. They could not put their own hands in it. All right. All right. God said, get the plant that is called hyssop mm -hmm. and dip it in the blood that is in the basin. Yes. Read. And strike the lintel. And strike the lintel. And the two side posts. And the two side posts. With the blood. With the blood. That is in the basin. All right, that is in the basin. And none of you. None of you. Shall go out at the door. Shall go out at the door. Of his house. Of his house. Until the morning. Until the morning. For the Lord will pass through. For the Lord will pass through. To smite the Egyptians. All right, now who is the Lord coming through to smite? The Egyptians. Praise the Lord. And the reason why he's going to smite the Egyptians is because none of the Egyptians' blood, the blood was none on their doorposts. That's right. It was only on the doorposts of the children of Israel. Amen. All right, read. And when he seen the blood. When he seen the blood. Upon the lintel. Upon the lintel. And on the two side posts. And upon the two side posts. The Lord will pass over the door. The Lord will pass the door. The door. And will not suffer. Will not suffer. The destroyer. 
destroyer, the destroyer to come in unto your house to come into your house to smite you to smite you know I wanted to bring that in to show us amen in corresponding to what we just read yeah. that the blood of the lamb had to be poured out in a basin mm -hmm. all right now and the blood protected the children of Israel so it is with the church now when someone decides to get saved they are entering into a covenant all right all right with the lord god all right but it can only be possible through the blood of jesus christ mm -hmm. no sin can be forgiven no sin can be remitted without the shedding of blood man all right now let, let's look at another example amen of exodus chapter number 29 verses 19 and 21. Mm -hmm. all right exodus chapter number 20 29. Yes. Praise the Lord. 19 through 21. And thou shalt take the other ram. All right. Thou shalt take the other ram. And Aaron. All right. And Aaron. And his sons. And his sons. Shall put their hands upon their head of the ram. All right. Aaron and his sons shall put their hands where? Upon the head of the ram. All right. Upon the head of the ram. Then shalt thou kill the ram. Then Sacrifice was slain, the blood was supposed to take a, just a tip of the blood mm -hmm. and put it on Aaron's right ear. All right, read. And upon the tip of the right ear of his son. All right, upon the tip of the right ear of his sons. And upon the thumb of their right hand. All right, upon the thumb of their what? Right hand. I know probably a lot of people haven't read this before, but we're reading it tonight. Amen. All right, read. And upon the great toe of the right foot. All right, now it may sound funny, amen. But God said that young saying, put some on their right ear, yeah. uh, right thumb, amen, on their right toe. Great the, toe. The great toe. Yeah. Of, you understand? Yeah. Put the blood there. Mm -hmm. All right, read. And sprinkle the blood upon the altar round about. All right, sprinkle the blood upon the altar round about. Round about. And thou shalt take of the blood. And thou shalt take of the blood. And that is upon the altar. That is upon the altar. And of the anointing oil. And of the anointing oil. And sprinkle it upon Aaron. Now take note now, there is no anointing without the blood first. Alright, gotta have the blood. Alright, so the blood comes first, then the anointing. That's right. All right, because now they could not serve God and be anointed of God with sin in their life. Amen. Amen. Their sin had to be remitted by the blood. Now once their sin has been remitted, now the anointing can come and rest upon their lives. All right, Bishop. All right, now read. And sprinkle it upon Aaron. And sprinkle it upon Aaron. And upon his garments. And upon his garments. And upon his sons. And upon his sons. And upon the garments of his son. And upon the garments of his son with him with him and he shall be hollow and he shall be what hollow and he shall be hollow and his garments and his garments and his sons and his son and his son's garments and his son's garment with him with him praise the lord all right i wanted to bring that in praise the lord in terms of the sprinkling of the blood yes. all right now let us go on back now to peter Verse number three. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Which according to his abundant mercy. Which according to his abundant mercy. Had begotten us again. All right. God had begotten us again. Unto a lively hope. Unto a lively hope. By the resurrection. By the resurrection. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. From the dead. From the dead. So now God had begotten us again. All right, unto a lively hope mm -hmm. by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from, from the dead. Mm -hmm. Now, what is Peter is talking about? He's talking about the regenerated man. All right. In other words, amen, the new birth. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Now, for one amen to come into the body of Christ, Jesus told Nicodemus, except a man be born again, be born again. Uh, he cannot see the kingdom of God. That's 
right. So Nicodemus said, Lord, how is this supposed to be? Mm -hmm. Can I enter the second time into my mother's womb and be born? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Nicodemus was looking at the natural process of birth. Yeah. But Jesus was not teach, talking about a natural birth. He was talking about a spiritual birth. Mm -hmm. So he told Nicodemus, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a man be except born, a man be born of, the water, of the water and of the spirit, and Spirit he cannot, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. So one cannot be regenerated. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. One cannot come into the body of Christ. One cannot be begotten again unto a livelihood. Amen. Only by the new birth. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And it was only made possible because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now I want to bring something in and share with you. The gospel is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's right. Now, Jesus dying, he was good. All right. Him being buried, great. Mm -hmm. But if he never rose, mm. if dying and burial was in vain. Amen. Praise the Lord. So now, all of us, praise the Lord, are only where we are today because of Jesus' resurrection. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, let's hear what Paul got to say in 1 Corinthians chapter number 15. 1 Corinthians chapter number 15, mm -hmm. verses 12 through 20. 12 through 20. Praise the Lord, because the resurrection is very important. Mm -hmm. Read. Now if Christ, Christ be preached. If Christ be preached. And he rose from the dead. That he rose from the dead. I'll say some among you. All right, I'll say some among you. That there is no resurrection. All right, so dead. Paul now is writing to them because there were some that were doubting the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord, because this is what they wanted to do even after he was buried. That's right. Uh, they paid soldiers. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because the Lord put the soldiers to sleep yeah. uh, and raised his son on the third day. That's right. So they paid the soldiers to say his disciples came by night and stole the body away. That's right. All right. Because Jesus told them, destroy this temple yeah. and in three days I will raise it up again. Yeah. So they were trying to prove that Jesus was a liar. Mm -hmm. uh, that he never rose from the third day. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So this is what Paul is saying. Mm -hmm. Read. But if there be no resurrection, if there be no resurrection of the dead, of the dead, then is Christ not risen? Then is Christ not risen? And if Christ be not risen, and if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching in vain? Then is our preaching vain? Vain. Praise the Lord. If Christ did not get up on the third day, our preaching that we do, all of it is vain. Mm -hmm. Read. And your faith. We have hope in Christ. We are all men. We are all 
men most miserable. Most miserable. But now is Christ risen from I'm the right, dead. Now we're gonna step. Now is Christ what risen from the dead and become the first fruit. Jesus now has become the first fruit of them that sleep. All right. So Jesus now is the pattern mm -hmm. for those believers that die. Yes. Praise the Lord. Let the believers know the same way Jesus died and rose. You gonna get up? It's the same. And then we're going to go to Matthew chapter number 6, verse 19 through 21. Jesus. Second Peter chapter, Second Corinthians chapter 2, mm -hmm. verse number 9. And then we're going to go to Matthew chapter 16, right. chapter 6, verses 19 through 21. All right. For to this end, for to this end, also, also, did I write, did I write, that I might know the proof, that I might know the proof of you, of you, whether ye be obedient, whether ye be obedient in all things, in all things, to whom ye forget, forgive anything, to whom ye forgive anything, I forgive also, I forgive also. Let's go to First Corinthians. I believe, like First Corinthians chapter two, oh. verse nine. First Corinthians two nine. Yes, sir. Yes, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. Yes. Verse 9. But as it is written, but as it is written, I have not seen. All right, now Paul is encouraging the believers, but as it is what? And it is written. There's a reason why he said it is written because he's quoted from Isaiah. Mm -hmm. All right, it is written. For it is written, I have not seen. Eyes have not seen, nor ear heard. All right, so we have not seen it with our physical eyes, mm -hmm. neither have our physical ear. Neither have entered into the heart. Neither have it entered into the heart, meaning the mind. A man. A man. The thing. The thing. Which God has prepared for them. Which God has what? Prepared for them. Alright, so there are things for the believers that God has what? Prepared. God has prepared for them that love him. Alright, so these things are only prepared for them that what? Love him. So there condition cause right there. Love. Praise the Lord. If you want what God has prepared for you, you must love him. And Jesus said in St. John chapter number 14, he said, let not your heart be troubled. All right now. All right. Leave also in me. In my father's house are what? Many mansions. Yes, sir. If it were not so, I would have told you. Yeah. But I go. Uh-huh. Huh? And one of my reasons for going is to prepare a place for you. Yeah. That where I am, there you, there you may be also. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. So now Paul is 
is encouraging the believers. Eyes have not seen, uh -huh. ear have not heard, neither have it entered into the hearts of men the things that God has prepared for them that love him. Now let's hear what Jesus has to say in Matthew chapter number 6, mm -hmm. verse 19 through 21. Lay not up. Lay not up. For yourself treasures upon the earth. Treasures upon the earth. Where moth. Where moth. And rust doth do it corrupt. All right. So don't lay up for yourself treasures upon the earth. Where moth and rust. Do corrupt. Do corrupt. And where thieves break through. Where thieves break through. And steal. And steal. But lay up for yourself. But lay up for yourself. Treasures in heaven. Treasures in heaven. Where neither moth.
possible to what? Please God. Yes. Because he that cometh to God believe. must first believe that he is. Yeah. And that he is a rewarder of them that what? Yeah. Diligently seek him. Mm -hmm. So every believer is kept by the power of God, but it's only known through faith. Unto salvation. Unto what? Unto salvation. Ready to be revealed. Ready to be revealed. In the last time. Alright, so the salvation is ready to be revealed mm -hmm. in the last time. Mm -hmm. Read. Wherein ye greatly rejoice. Wherein ye greatly rejoice. Though now by a season. For though now for a season. For a season if need be. If need be. Ye are in heavy, heaviness. Through my, through manifold temptation. All right, so at this point, now, Peter began to address uh -huh. uh, the temptations and the suffering that the believers were facing. Yeah, now, we said right now, yeah, yeah, you're feeling heavy. Mm. You're feeling burdened down uh, by the manifold temptation. That's right. Praise the Lord. Now, God has done something for the believers. Whenever the believers feel heavy, mm -hmm. look what God has given to the believers. Let's Isaiah 61 verse 3. Oh, yeah. Look at what God has done for the believers. Isaiah 61 verse 3. Isaiah 61 verse number 3. Because all of us sometimes get heavy. All of us get burdened down sometimes through manifold temptations. To a point. Alright now, this is what the Lord has done. To a point. Unto them. Unto them. That mourn in Zion. Alright now, if you Look what the Lord has done for you. To give unto them. To give unto them. Beauty for ashes. All right now, so it says the Lord is going to take the ashes away and give you beauty. Ooh. Praise the Lord. Read. The oil of joy. The oil of joy. For mourning. For mourning. You understand? So now the Lord will replace. He will remove the mourning. Mm -hmm. And he will replace it with what? The oil the of what? Joy. The oil of joy. The garment of praise. All right. So now. He will give you the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. All right, so now whenever you feel heavy, mm -hmm. the Lord has given you something to get you out of it. All right, because. and it is the garment of praise yes. for the spirit of what? Heaviness. Of heaviness. So when you feel down and out, get you a tape. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Put a song on. All right. Yeah. Praise the Lord. That will lift your spirit. Hear it up. Praise the Lord. I will stir you up and understand and will bring from a mom that manifold temptation yes. because that's a place that Satan wants every believer to stay. That's right, Bishop. So when you feel down and out, mm. the Lord said, put on the spirit, the garment of praise. Yes. It's a garment. That's right. Uh, and you got to put it on. You put it on. In other words, he has given us all things uh. that pertain to life and godliness. When someone go into the army with their outfit, mm -hmm. Uncle Sam provide their outfit. Oh, yeah. But that person must take off their outfit mm -hmm. and put on what on Kassan's outfit. Right. So God has placed in the church everything that they believe in. Amen. But God is not going to do all the work by himself. Oh, sir. You and I must put on the garment of praise. Mm -hmm. huh? So sometimes you understand you may be going through. Yes. And you come to church. Yeah. Huh? And sometimes the devil want to tell you, well, you know you're suffering and you know you're going through mm -hmm. and you know you're burning. Oh, don't sing a song. I know. Don't get up and give a testimony. Don't clap. Don't clap your hands. Mm. Praise the Lord. Just keep your head down. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Just have a pity party. I know. Praise the Lord. But you got to remember the Lord has given to you. Yeah. The garment of praise. Yeah. Amen. For the spirit of what? Yeah. For the spirit of heaviness. And remember this now. You can only overcome the devil. As the Bible said, they overcame him mm -hmm. by This is how you can overcome the devil. Man. When you stand up and testify right. of what God has done for you. Right. Right. But the devil sometimes don't want us to stand up and testify. Oh, no. He wants us to come to church and sit down. Mm -hmm. huh? Don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. But when you know what the Bible says. Yeah. Praise the Lord. You don't allow your circumstances to dictate your praise. All right, Bishop. And then you still come to the house of God. Yeah. Still
joy of the Lord what is my strength. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So you've given us the garment of praise yeah. for the spirit of heaviness. That they All right. might be called trees. That they of might be called trees of righteousness. Of righteousness. The planting of the Lord. The planting of the Lord. And he might be glorified. That he might be glorified. All right, now back now. Lift them up. They praise the Lord too. Peter chapter number one, yeah. verse number six. Read that again. Wherein ye greatly rejoice. Wherein ye greatly rejoice. Go now for a season. Go now for a season. If need be. If need be. Ye are in heaviness. In heaviness. Through manifold temptation. Oh, if you're right now in heaviness through manifold temptation. That the trial of your faith. Praise the Lord. That the trying, you understand? Every believer's faith must be tried. Mm -hmm. That the trying of your faith. Being much more precious. Being much more precious. Than of gold. Than of gold. That perish. That perish. Though it be tried with fire. Though it be tried with fire. Might be found unto praise. Might be found unto praise. And honor. And honor. And glory. And glory. At the appearing of Jesus Christ. Now let me explain what Peter is saying. Now, whenever you put gold in the fire. Mm -hmm. Are you putting the gold in the fire to destroy the gold? Purifies. You're putting the gold in the fire to purify the gold. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because now the impurities must come out. Yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. Because the gold is of no value right. with impurities. All right, Bishop. So just like you take the gold and put it in the fire, mm -hmm. you're not destroying the gold. That's right. But you're purifying the gold. Purifying. Now Peter is using that also to bring in the believers. All right. There are many times the Lord takes us mm -hmm. and he Uh, God is not through with me yet. Yes. But when God gets through with me, yeah, all right. uh, you understand the key is when God gets through. God gets through. It didn't say how long it's going to take. Uh -huh. so praise the Lord. So wait till God gets through with you. Wait. wait. Uh, stay in the fire. Because God is still getting out the impurities from us. He's purifying us. Purifying. Uh, he's building godly character in our lives. All right. But we got to go in the fire. We got to be tested. We got to be tried. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. Read. Whom having not seen, whom having not seen, ye love, ye love. In whom, in whom, though now ye see him not, though you see him not, yet believing, yet believing, ye rejoice, ye rejoice, with joy unspeakable, with joy unspeakable, and full of glory, and full of glory. Let's go to James chapter number one. James chapter number one, verses two and three. And then we're going to hit verse 12 to 15. All right. Just to encourage the saints. My brethren. My brethren. Count it all joy. What must we do? Count it all joy. No one just has. All joy. Some. All. Just a little bit. All. 99. All. And a half. All. Praise the Lord. Count it all joy. When ye fall into diverse temptations. Not when you put yourself in it. Mm -mm. When you fall. But when ye fall. Mm. In other words, after you do the will of God and things come upon you. All right, Bishop. It is being done by the will of God, not by my own will. Count it joy. Praise the Lord. So once it is done by the will of God, James is saying, count it all joy. Mm -hmm. When he fall into divers, into divers, into different forms of temptation. Temptation is not just in one form. That's right. It comes in divers. he may not use the same for me. That's right. The devil knows what each and every one of us likes. And he's going to tempt us according to that which he knows that we like. That's right. All right, now read. Knowing this. Knowing this. That the trying of your faith. That the trying of your faith. It worketh patience. Uh, the trying of your faith worketh what? Patience. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Uh, the trying of our faith. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Read. But let patience. Now, when we are in our trials, mm -hmm. and it is producing patience, mm -hmm. James said, let patience have her perfect work. Have her perfect work. That ye may be perfect. That you may be perfect. And entire. And entire. Wanting nothing. So those three things will never happen if you don't In other words, patience, and our word for patience is enduring. Mm -hmm. uh, once you endure that temptation, once you go through that temptation, then you become perfect. 
perfect, yeah. then you become entire, and then you will want nothing because you have allowed patience to have her perfect work. Amen. All right, now verse number 12. Mm -hmm. Read. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man. That endured temptation. Now, blessed is the man, not just the man, not man alone. All mankind. Uh, I'm talking about everyone. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the person. Yeah. That endureth what? Temptation. So somebody's only blessed unless they do what? Endure. endure. If you don't endure, then you can't be blessed. That's right. But when you endure temptation, you are blessed. Amen. Read. For when he is tried. For when he is what? Tried. Did God try Abraham? Oh, yes. Was Abraham the father of faith? Yes, sir. So all, every believer, our faith will be tried. Yes, sir. You say you got faith? Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Your faith is going to be tried. Mm -hmm. Be careful with your testimony that you give. All right. Be careful with the songs you sing. Be mindful of the message you preach. Yes. Because those same words will come back to try us. Amen. And we will be proven whether or not we meant what we sung. Did we really mean that? When he is tried, when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. After he is tried, he shall receive what? A crown of life. A crown of life. So if you don't endure, and if you are not tried, there is no crown of life awaits you. No crown. Read. Which the Lord hath promised. Which the Lord hath promised. To them that love him. Praise the Lord. Now, the Lord hath what? There's a crown. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. But it's all that what? Read that again. Which the Lord, uh, for him who is tried, he shall receive a crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. All right, so God made a promise. Yeah. Huh? But the promise is only to them that what? Love him. Only to them that love him. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandment. Uh, you're going to keep my commandment. That's the way that we show that we love the Lord when we are keeping his commandments. Amen. All right, read. Let no man. Now let no man. Say when he is tempted. When he is tempted. I am tempted of God. I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted. God cannot be tempted. With evil. With evil. Neither tempted he any man. All right, so look. God never encouraged anyone to sin. Mm -mm. It goes against God's very nature. That's right, Bishop. So God will never tempt someone to go sin. Mm -mm. God will never encourage no believer to go sin. Now, I will show you through James what happens and cause a believer to go about sinning. Mm -hmm. All right, read. But every man is tempted. But every man is tempted. When he is drawn away. When he is drawn away. Of his own lust. All right, God's lust. His own lust. And God's lust. His own, the man's Of his lust. own lust. And enticed. Unto the coming of the Lord. James is encouraging the saints. Mm -hmm. Be patient. 
hasten, therefore, yeah. unto the coming of the Lord. Unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, behold, the husbandman. The husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth. Now, once the husbandman planted the seed, yeah, the crop don't come up overnight. No, sir, it takes time. It takes some time. Mm -hmm. But if he's waiting with patience, yes, he will be able to reap. Yeah. The benefits mm -hmm. of the seed that he had planted. That's right. All right, read. Waited for the precious fruit of the earth. Waited for the precious fruit of the earth. And had long patience. And had long patience for it. For it. Until he received the early and latter rain. Until he received the early and the what? Latter and the latter rain. Be ye also patient. So now that he's talking to the church. Be ye also what? Patient. Patient. Establish your heart. Establish your heart. For the coming of the Lord. For the coming of the Lord. Draw it not. Draw it not. Gir Gird not one against another. Alright, grudge not Brethren. one against another. Brethren. Brethren. Lest ye be condemned. Lest ye be condemned. Behold. Behold. The judge standing before the door. Alright, where is the judge standing? Before the door. He's standing before the door. Take my brethren, take my brethren, the prophets, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord, who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for an example, for an example of suffering, of suffering, affliction, affliction, and of patience, and of patience. Behold, behold, we count them happy, we count them happy, which endure, which endure. We have heard, we have heard of the patience of Job. All right, we have heard of the patience of Job. And have seen the end of the Lord. Praise the Lord. So James referred them back to Job. Mm -hmm. Now we know the story of Job. How Job suffered. Yes. And he wasn't suffering because he did something wrong. That's right. He was suffering because God recommended him right. to Satan. That's right. Praise the Lord. Satan said, well, Job was only serving God. Amen. Because God blessed him. Mm -hmm. uh, because God had a hedge of protection about Job's life. Yeah. But the devil said, now, remove the Remove the head. Mm. Take away his blessings, and I will cause Job to do what? Curse you to your face. But Job never did curse God to God's face. No, sir. In other words, Job realized, and that even though I'm going through my suffering, mm -hmm. he cursed the day that he was born. That's right. But he never cursed God. Never cursed God. In other words, he endured, he went through. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the Lord does the same for believers. Amen. He recommends us to Satan. That's right. So you might be facing something right now, not know why it has come upon you. Yeah. The reason could be that God has recommended you to be tested and tried by the devil. All right. God already know that you'll make it. God know that you're not going to be destroyed. Yes. That's why you recommend Job. So sometimes the Lord will recommend us. Mm -hmm. But we must understand what we're going through. Hello. And when we know the will of God, yes. we don't murmur, we don't complain. Yes. We endure our tests. Lord, we go through our tests and trials. Yes. Praise the Lord. Just like Job did. And because Hebrews 11 verse 32 
Job just talked about the prophets and how they suffered. Mm -hmm. Let's hear what happened to the prophets according to the Hall of Faith. Hebrews chapter number 11. Verse 32. Verse number 32. And what shall I more say? What shall I more say? For the time would fail me. The time would fail me. To tell of Gideon. To tell of Gideon. And of Barak. And of Barak. And of Samson. And of Samson. And of Jephthah. And of Jephthah. Of David also. Of David also. And Samuel. And Samuel. Of, and of the prophets. And of the prophets. Who through faith. Who through faith. Subdued kingdom. Subdued kingdom. Wrought righteousness. Wrought righteousness. Obtained promises. They obtained promises. Stop the mouth of lions. Stop the mouth of lions. Quench the violence of fire. Quench the violence of fire. Escape the edge of the sword. Escape the edge of the sword. Out of weakness. Out of weakness. Were made strong. Were made strong. Wax valiant in fight. They wax valiant in fight. Turn to flight. Turn to flight. The armies of the aliens. The armies of the aliens. Women received their dead. Mm -hmm. Raised to life again. Raised to life again. And others were tortured. All right, some of them were tortured. Not accepting deliverance. Uh, they did not accept deliverance. That they might obtain a better resurrection. In other words, they could have gotten out of it if they wanted. Yeah. But they chose, amen, to suffer. Yeah. They chose, in other words, that if it cost me my life, mm. that if I have to suffer for the Lord, and if it comes to the place as Jesus told in the book of Revelation, be thou faithful. Mm -hmm. uh, some preachers, preachers have said, be thou faithful until death. All right. It didn't say until death, Ew. because when you get to that point, you might change your mind. Yeah. But Jesus said, be thou faithful unto death. Unto death. And when you be faithful unto death, I will give you what a crown of life. So we have to be faithful even unto death. So sometimes our suffering may. you. You have not lost your inheritance or your reward. Amen. All right, read. And others had trial of cruel mocking. Others had trial of cruel mocking. And scourging. And scourging. Yea. Yea. Moreover a bond and imprisonment. Moreover a bond and imprisonment. They were stoned. They were stoned. They were sawn asunder. And listen to what the saints of all been through. They were stoned. Mm -hmm. And if there's any people that know how to stone folks were the Jews. Yes, Lord. You give them an A plus when they come to stone and they were very good at stoning people. Mm -hmm. But the prophets were stoned. Yes, Lord. The saints of all were stoned. Lord. They were what? Sawn asunder. They were sawn asunder. They were tempted. They were tempted. They were slain with the sword. Uh, some of them were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskin. They wandered about in sheepskin. In goatskin. Being destitute. And in destitute, they went without. Afflicted. They went, just said they were afflicted. Tormented. Tormented. Of whom the world was not worthy. And the world was not even worthy. They wandered in deserts. They wandered in desert. And in mountains. And in mountains. And in dens. And in dens. And caves of the earth. And caves of the earth. And all these. All these. Have obtained a good report. I, all of them because they went through saints. and then we'll close out. All right. Back now to 1 Peter. Yeah. Verse number 7. Read that again. That the trial of your faith that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold. All right. More precious. Our trials that we are going through mm -hmm. they are more precious than gold. That perishes. That perish. Though it be tried with fire. Though it be tried with the fire. Might be found unto praise. Might be found unto praise. And honor and, and glory. And honor and glory. At the appearing of Jesus Christ. All whom have we not seen? Whom have we not seen? Ye love. Ye love. And whom? And whom? Though now ye see him not. Though you see him not. Ye believing. Ye yet believing. Yet believing. Ye rejoice with joy. Ye rejoice with joy. Unspeakable. Unspeakable. And full of glory. And full of glory. Receiving the end of your faith. Receiving the end of your faith. Even the salvation of your soul. All right. 
even the salvation of your souls. Of which salvation? Of which salvation? The prophets had inquired. The prophets have inquired. And searching diligently. All right, not only have they inquired, but they searched diligently. Who prophesied? Who prophesied? The grace of the grace that should come unto you. All right, so the, the salvation which the prophets have inquired uh -huh. and searched yeah. diligently. Yeah. Of the grace that should come unto them. Now we're going to close up here. Let's see what Jesus had to say in John chapter number 8, All right. verse 56 through 59. Praise the Lord. John chapter number 8, verses 56 through 59. And then we're going to go to Matthew chapter number 13, 15 through 17. Your father Abraham. Your father Abraham. Rejoice to see my day. All right. So Jesus told him, now, your father Abraham rejoiced to see what? My day. My day. And he saw it. And he saw it. And was glad. How was Abraham able to see Jesus' day? Simple. By faith. By faith. He saw the day of Jesus. Yeah. Read. This said the Jews unto him. Then said the Jews unto him. Thou art yet fifty years old. You are not yet fifty years old. And have thou seen Abraham? And have you seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them. Jesus said unto them. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Before Abraham was. Before Abraham was. I am. I am. He is not. Listen to this. Before Abraham was. I am. I Through 22. 
Deuteronomy 18, verse 15 through 22. All right. The Lord thy God. Now the Lord thy God. Will raise up. Will raise up. Unto thee a prophet. Unto thee a prophet. From the midst of thee. All right. So in the other side, we're talking about the prophets who search what? Diligently. Uh-huh. All right. About the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The grace that should come unto them. Yeah. So Moses is saying, now, a prophet like unto me. Yeah. Shall the Lord your God do what? Raise up. And we, we're now in Deuteronomy chapter 18, 15. For the Lord your God will raise you up a prophet. From the midst of thee. From the midst of thee. Of thy brother. Of thy brethren. Like unto me. Like unto me. Unto him. Unto him. He shall hearken. He shall hearken. So Moses is saying now, the prophet that God will raise up, that's the prophet you need to listen to. Yeah. And there's a reason why now, and I'm going to explain the reason why Moses is saying these words. All right. All right, read. According to all that thou desirest of the Lord thy God. According to all that thou desirest of the Lord thy God. In Hebrew, in, in Horeb. In Horeb. In the day of the assembly. In the day of the assembly. Saying. Saying. Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord. Let me not hear the voice of the Lord your God. God. Neither let me see this great fire anymore. All right. Now, what happened now? The children of Israel told Moses, we don't want to hear you no more. Yeah. We want to hear God speak. Talk to us. Praise the Lord. We want God to talk to us. We're tired of you, Moses, talking to us. So God heard their cry. Yeah. And he told Moses to sanctify the people. Mm -hmm. Let them wash themselves. Let them take a bath. Yeah, clean this. And let them clean themselves up and meet me at the mountain. Yeah. And God told Moses, don't let man I believe chapter, the last few verses. Right. I think it's John chapter number 8 or it might be verse chapter 12. We'll find it. I think it's chapter 8 or chapter 12. No, let's get it. I believe it's chapter 8 or chapter 12. The last few verses. For he gave me a command what I should say. Verse, all right, there it is, chapter 12. 12. Verse number 49. 49. For I have not spoken. For I have not spoken. Of myself. Of myself. But the Father. But the Father. Which sent me. Which sent me. He gave me 
a commandment. All right, so Jesus is saying the Father sent him, and he gave him a what? A, a commandment. What I should say. What I should say. And what I should speak. And what I should speak. So now the commandment did not come from Jesus. No, sir. The commandment came from God. Yes. What the prophet should say, and what the prophet should what? Should speak. speak. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's do a little bit of a few more verses back in First Peter. All right. We'll be finished up in a few, about 10 minutes. All right, verse number 10 again, read that. Verse number 10. Of which salvation? Of which salvation? The prophets had inquired. The prophets have inquired. And searched diligently. And the prophets searched diligently. Who prophesied of the grace. Who prophesied of the grace. That should come unto you. That should come unto you. Searching what? Searching what? Or what manner of time? Or what manner of time? The Spirit of Christ. The Spirit of Christ. Which was in them. Which was in them. Did signify. Did signify. When it testified beforehand. When it testified beforehand. The sufferings of Christ. The suffering of Christ. And the glory. And the glory. That should follow. All right, now what Peter is saying, the prophets of old spoke of the suffering of Christ. Uh-huh. That should follow after the suffering. That's right. Now let, let's just do a few scriptures here, and then we'll close up. Isaiah chapter number fifty-two, verses thirteen through fifteen. Actually, let's do Isaiah 50. Let's do 50, verses 4 through 9, and then we'll go to Isaiah 52, verse 13 through 15, and then we'll close up with Isaiah 53. Isaiah 15, verse 4 through 9. All right. The Lord God. The Lord God. Have given me. Have given me. The tongue of the learned. All right. So God has given Jesus the tongue of the learned. That I should now know how to speak. That Jesus should know how to speak. A word in season. A word in season. To him that is weary. To him. So saints, when you are weary, Jesus is able to give you a word of comfort. Amen. All right. Read he wakened morning by morning. He wakened it morning by morning. He wakened my ear to hear. He wakened it my ear to hear. As the learned. As the learned. The Lord God have opened my ear. The Lord God have opened my ear. And I am not rebellious. And I was not rebellious. Way back. Neither turn away back. I gave my back to the smiter. Jesus is, now this is Isaiah speaking. Mm -hmm. Isaiah never said Jesus. He never called but he said, I. Uh -huh. So you would think he's talking about himself. That's right. But he's not talking about himself because that can happen to him. No, but he said, I have given my back to the wall. To the smiters. To the smiters. And my cheek to them that plucked off the hair. All right. And my cheek to them that does what? Plucked off my hair. Plucked off my hair. I hid not my face. I hid not my face. From shame. From shame. And spitting. And spitting. For the Lord God will help. Me. For the Lord God will help me. Therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face. I have set my face. Like a flint. Like a flint. And I know that I shall not be ashamed. And because I've set my face like a flint, I know I shall not be ashamed. He is near. He is near. That justifies me. Saints of God, God is near that justifies you. Who will contend with me? Who with me. Let us stand together. Let us stand together. Who is my adversary? Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Let him come near to me. Behold. Behold. The Lord God will help me. The Lord God will help me. Who is he? Who is he? That shall condemn me. That shall condemn me. The Lord God will help me. And who is he that shall do what? Condemn me. Condemn me. Lo. Lo. They all Eat them up. The moth shall eat them up. Who is among you? Who is among you? That feareth the Lord. That feareth the Lord. That obeyeth the voice of his servant. That obeyeth the voice of his servant. That walketh in darkness. That walketh in darkness. Hath no light. And hath no light. Let him trust in the name of the Lord. Let him trust in the name of the Lord. And stay upon his God. And stay upon his God. Don't remove from God. Trust in the Lord. Trust and remain with God. 
Amen. All right, is that verse 9? That's verse 2. All right. Now let's go back to 52. 52. Verses 13 through 15. All right. Talking about the suffering of Jesus. Behold. Behold. My servant shall deal prudently. My servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted. He shall be exalted. And extolled. And extolled. And be very high. And be very high. As many were a stone at thee. As many as were a stone at thee. His visage. His visage. Was so marred more than any man. Praise the Lord. And his form more than the sons of men. Praise the Lord. This is not referring to Isaiah. This is talking to Jesus. That's right. Praise the Lord. With the suffering that Jesus went through, you can barely recognize who he was. Lord, After all of his suffering, mm -hmm. after all of the whipping that he took, praise the Lord, the crown of thorns upon his head. Yeah. Because of all of that, praise the Lord, you could not recognize him from before. So this is what Isaiah is talking about, the suffering of the Messiah. Yes. All right, now we're going to finish up in Isaiah 53. Uh-huh. All right, now verse number one. All right. Who? Who? Have believed our report. Have believed our report. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed. All right. For he shall grow up. He shall grow up. Before him. Before him. As a tender plant. So Jesus grew up before God as a tender plant. And as a root. Oh, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. He was buried in the one man's tomb. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's what Isaiah is saying. He made his grave with the wicked. With the wicked. Mm -hmm. That was not Jesus' tomb. No, sir. That was Joseph's tomb. Yes, borrowed. Praise the Lord. But it was just loan to Jesus. Yeah. So that's what Isaiah is talking about. He made his grave with, with the wicked. Now listen to this also. And with the rich. And with the rich. In his death. In his death. Praise the Lord. But let me correct something. I, I, missed, I messed up on that. He made, read that again, Deacon. All right. And he made his grave. He made his grave. With the wicked. All right. When he was on the cross, he was among wickedness. Mm -hmm. He was among sinners. Two wicked men. Yep. All right. He was in the middle of two sinners. All right. Two wicked men. Yeah. So he made his grave with the wicked. And with the rich. And with the rich. In his death. Now was Joseph a rich man? Yes, sir. Is that when the scripture said he was a rich man? The rich man. And because he was a rich man, he was able to loan Jesus his burial place. All right. In other words, his tomb. Yes, sir. All right. So that's what Isaiah is talking about. Yeah, yeah. All right. Read a little few more scriptures. Because he had done Verses. no violence. Because he had done no violence. Neither was any deceit in his mouth. Neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord. But yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. The man did no wrong. Mm. But yet it pleased God to do what? To bruise him. God allowed Jesus to be, you got to say, mistreated. Torment. God's only begotten son. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, you got to say, in order for you to reign with me, you got to suffer along with me. If you don't suffer with me, you will never reign with me. Yeah. So believers, in order for us to reign with him, we got to suffer. Go through. Suffering don't feel good, does it? No, sir. But when after we finish suffering, mm -hmm. after we finish going through, All right, now. there is a reward for us. Hallelujah. Look at what we do sometimes. We take out our clothes. Mm -hmm. We put it in the ironing board. Yeah. And we turn the iron on. Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. Now, why are we turning the iron on? Get it hot. Now, we want to get it hot. Mm -hmm. uh, because the wrinkles will not disappear with a cold iron. That's right. So, we apply heat to the iron. Yeah. To get the wrinkle out the clothes. Straighten it up. Uh, never have you seen your pants jump off the ironing board and run away. No, sir. Hmm. It stays there. It stays right there. It lays right there. Uh, and it don't argue. It don't complain. Mm -mm. We must be just like our clothes when God put us on the ironing board. My Lord, Bishop. Uh, and when he turned on the heat, mm. uh, what is he doing? He's getting all the wrinkle out. Yeah. But if you decide to jump off the ironing board and run away, then you're running away with wrinkles and you have not been completed. Mm. But if you stay on the ironing board, you. All right, now. Praise the Lord. God is the one that puts you on the ironing board. It wasn't yourself that put you there. God put you on the ironing board. So stay on the ironing board. Man. No suffering for the present. It don't seem good. No, sir. It don't feel good to the flesh. Mm -mm. But it's one thing we must learn to do. We must learn to suffer with Jesus. Man. Because once we learn to suffer with him, we're going to reign with him. Yeah. And when you finish ironing your clothes, you dress up and you look good. Yeah. Uh, you're able to come out in the public. Mm -hmm. You're not going to heaven until Jesus finished with you on the ironing board. All right, now. Praise the Lord. Uh, and when he finished ironing you out straight, mm -hmm. uh, and you look presentable to him, All right. he knows when you're finished. Yes. You know when you're finished ironing your clothes, and it is to your what? Acceptance. Mm -hmm. When you are pleased with the way your clothes look, then you take your clothes off and dress up in it. Yes, sir. And you come out looking good. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing the Lord is doing with the believers. Yes, sir. He's putting us on the ironing board. Help us, Lord. And he's applying the heat. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Why is he doing it? He knows what we need to look like. Yeah. He knows our faith needs to be built. Mm -hmm. He knows that we need to what build godly character inside of us. All right. But we can't come out as pure gold. 
encouraging us. Amen. Don't think it's strange concerning these fiery trials. The test that you're going through right now. Don't run away from God. Don't run away from Him. And don't cry out telling God, God is too much. Mm. Because He won't put no more on you than you're able to bear. Amen. Huh? But with the temptation, mm -hmm. He'll make a way of what? God will not always remove the test. That's right. He will not always remove the temptation. Mm. But He will carry you through. Grace. He will give you grace, thank you, yes. to get through your test. Yes. As He told Paul, my grace is sufficient. is sufficient for my strength is what? Amen. Made perfect in what? In weakness. So if you're feeling weak right now, rely on the grace of God. Amen. Rely on the strength of God. Amen. Rely on the power of God. Amen. Amen. And the power of God will get you through your test. Because if you stay in your test, Crazy. praise the Lord. Huh? Mm -hmm. And you thank God for your test. This is what we're going to do often. Yeah. You know, we hear say, standing up and say, I thank God for this test. <laughs> I thank God for this trial. Yeah, I thank God for this trials and temptation. Mm -hmm. I thank God for being persecuted. These are the testimonies we need to hear in the church. All right, now. The only time we want to testify is when he bless us with a check. Mm -hmm. uh, and when he heal our body. Mm -hmm. But we ought to come into the house of God uh, and tell the Lord, Lord, I'm glad All right. that you allow me to be tried by the devil. Hello. I'm glad you allow me to go in the furnace. Somebody said, Bishop, you're talking, baby. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. Because once you learn to suffer with the Lord, you get to a place where you can say a few words. Mm -hmm. But if you're ready to say those words, don't say it. So may God bless you. We're just getting warm up. Warm up. Praise the Lord. This is just the first phase. But we got to finish. Oh, Peter, encourage the saints. That's my purpose. That's my aim. Uh, not to bring anybody down, uh, but to speak words of comfort, uh, words of hope, and words of encouragement. So may God bless you. May God keep you. Until we meet again on Friday Amen. at 6 o'clock, if it's the Lord's will. God bless you in Jesus' name.